So now we're going to break this whole big problem up into tiny steps. So we're going to start with calculating the molar mass, and then we'll convert from grams to moles, and then moles to molecules, and molecules to atoms. So first let's calculate the molar mass. So we have two carbons, right? So we have carbon 2 times 12.01. Um, we have four hydrogens, oops, 1.01. And we have two oxygens. So when we work all that, 2 times 12.014 times 1.01, 2 times 16, when you add all that up, you should get 60.06, .06, and that's grams per mole. So first step should be pretty easy, find the molar mass. And now they want you to find the moles in a 100 gram sample. So we already know the molar mass, so it's just kind of walking you through this um, step by step. So we're going to start off with a 100 gram sample and we're going to convert to moles. So if we have grams on top, what's going to go on the bottom? How do we go from grams to moles? Molar mass. So we're going to have 60.06 .06 grams on the bottom, one mole on top, and that's going to get us to moles, and we end up with 1.665 moles. Great. And now that we have moles, we can find molecules. So how many molecules are in a 100 gram sample? We don't have to go back to 100 grams. We already know how many moles are in a 100 gram sample. So how do we get it to molecules? So remember, we just went from grams to moles using molar mass. And now we're going to go from moles to molecules using Avogadro's number. Because there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules for every one mole. And then in the next step, we're going to find atoms of something using the chemical formula. Chemical formula. All right, so if we know moles here, we can figure out how many molecules, because if we have 1.665 moles, for every one mole, we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So when you multiply that through, you end up with 1.002 times 10 to the 24 molecules. And then the very last step, they want to know how many carbon atoms are in a 100 gram sample. So we don't have to go all the way back from to grams, you know, grams to moles, moles to molecules, molecules to atoms. We could just take here, we're at molecules. We had 1.002 times 10 to the 24 molecules and in this compound acetic acid if we go all the way back up to the formula right Oop, here we have one two carbon atoms so in every one molecule of this right for every one molecule we have two carbon atoms for every one molecule we have four hydrogen atoms. We have two oxygen atoms. This is the part that people tend to forget. They forget to figure out how, how many atoms are there per molecule. So we could figure out how many hydrogen or oxygen atoms there are, but they're just asking us about the carbon in this case. So our ratio is two to one. For every uh, one molecule, we have two atoms of carbon. So we just have to multiply that by two. So we end up with 2.004 times 10 to the 24 atoms of